Hello, today I'm talking about rock water. Now, rock water is the only remedy that doesn't come from a plant or a tree. It's actually derived from a natural spring. And rock water is about gently going with the flow. So in a positive, you are gently going with the flow. Now what happens often in a negative state of mind, you become rigid, set beliefs, and very dogmatic, so it's got to be done that way. But it's very hard when someone's in that space to sway them from believing what they're thinking, the way they're acting is actually true. They will be convinced that they are in the right. The mind is very set on that mindset. Their body can be very upright, very rigid, can suffer with headaches, neck aches, stiff, you know, all around the shoulder area, very tense. Often struggle with back aches, headaches, because they are so tense. They are permanently on a state of it's got to be done. And when they're in that state, often, they will go, 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 and then they'll have a fall down. And I don't mean necessarily physically, but they can physically fall and hurt themselves. Because they're so tense that sometimes they snap in the wrong places. So they could hurt themselves. They could suddenly realise that they're quick their neck because they didn't realise they're so tense and they move quickly. Rigidity in the mind causes rigidity in the body in your thoughts and in your actions. And it's that state of mind which then takes you into often alienating people. Because you have such high standards and often unrealistic standards, nobody else can keep up. And you can see that as a problem. And others can see that as a problem as well. Because Nobody can match your standards. Often it's like, oh, get out of the way, I'll do it. And then you've put more pressure on yourself. Now in that state, what can often happen is you become a hard taskmaster on others. So you try to set those standards for others. But they can't keep up. So they tend to pull away or feel as though you're against them, when actually what you're trying to do is help them. But it comes into the remedy group of over care for others. So when you're saying you can do this, you've got, it's got to be done, you mean it. You are doing it for their good. It's like telling the child, you've got to get your homework done. Get on with it. And yet that child's not really in the right space to do so. But you believe it's got to be done right now. Maybe giving people a little bit of space would be an option. Maybe recognising when you're in that space yourself. Maybe allowing others the space to be themselves. And what often happens also in this negative state, you deny your needs. It's got to be done. And often it is for the betterment of others. So it's got to be done. There's no one else to do it. It is that way. There's no argue about it. It's got to be done. And then you will push yourself even harder. And your underlying thing is you've actually forgotten about you. So self-denial, rigid beliefs, fixed mindset, that's the remedy for you. What water? It helps you to gently pull back, to know when to chill, when to be, and when to push forward. It's about getting the balance between gently moving forward and making it happen. Yes, we need goals, we need to set those goals. Yes, we do need to make you know, steps into the future into your goal, into what needs to be done. 
but not to the point where it's at the detriment of yourself and those around you. So the page you need for that one is 488. Have a read up on it and see if you can recognise yourself in that state at the moment. We all go in and out of that because things do need to be done. But when it becomes totally out of balance, there is no reasoning with that person. And often they will do things to the detriment of themselves and those around them. Not intentionally, but because they can't see another way. Well, quarter brings in gentleness, brings in compassion, love, tolerance, understanding, recognising what needs to be done right now and what can wait. 